What's good with it? It's your boy Mr. Mixer and I'm back with another how-to video in Adobe Audition. Alright, now today I'm going to be talking about clarity in your vocals. Alright, so when you're a little muddy and you want to bring out more sparkle and bring out the vocal in the mix and everything. So we're going to start with that and let's get it going. Mr. Mixer Man, yeah, yeah. Whoa. started be sure to hit that notification bell that like button helps my algorithm out and i appreciate y'all for real for real all right let's get it already y'all let's get into it i want to show y'all this is how the vocal feels before all i have done is i have a i've done the mix to it but i want to want y'all to hear before and after okay so let's play before all right this is the same track we've been working on all right so let me play a little bit before all right here goes the vocal we started at the bottom now we at the top i always had a fear of the fame is non-stop and we ooh. okay so the vocal is compressed here now i clean the vocal up i need to clean that up a little bit more but i clean the vocal up and i compress it here so i'm just trying to show y'all that this is the only thing that i have on it but what i want to do is make it more present make it more brighter it's a more muddy so i want to show y'all i'm gonna play the before one more time we started at the bottom now we at the top I all right and i'm gonna play after we started at the bottom now we at the top i always had a fear of the fame is non-stop and we do Okay, so as you can see, this first one is sitting in the mix way better. We started at the bottom, now we at the top. I always had a fear of the fame is nonstop. All right, so um, I'm not all the way done with that mix because I'm not done with the song, but I'm going to show you the process on how to make your vocals brighter and have more clarity, okay? So let's get into it. We're going to go one by one. We're going to leave the auto tune on. All right, so what, and we're going to leave. Well, I'm going to walk you through the whole thing, all right? So, start with the first parametric EQ. All right, so what you want to do is take away the low end. So, on this vocal here, which if you want to copy these to get a start, you can. Um, 125 on the low end, high pass roll off. Okay, so that's taking this right here out. All right, so that's going to help automatically with making it feel a little more brighter and it's going to fit in the mix a little bit because it's going to take out the low end okay and you don't want all that rumble anyway okay so if you want to copy these settings right here um copy them don't copy them to try to like just use it find some of your frequencies because what i did on here i'm gonna say this real quick all right so what i did here is i went up we started at the bottom, now we at Okay, so what you're doing is taking out all of these frequencies. Now, this is going to help brighten up everything else by taking these nasty frequencies out, boxy frequencies, okay? So, I think if you do that, you'll be good. Um, I'm going to reset mine. Let me see. Let me go back to it. All right, there we go. All right, so this is the first step right here. All right, so you see I haven't even touched the highs. So this vocal, I haven't touched it. Sometimes I'll take out just like I do down here. It just depends on the vocal, okay? All right, so. We started at the bottom, now we at the top. All right, so let's bypass that. We started at the bottom, now we at the top. Just like that night and day, you can hear the muddiness is gone just from that. We started at the bottom, now we at the top. Okay, so from there, we're going to add another compression just to tighten up more of our more of each frequency space and compress each end in its own way okay so um let me play it with well, let me play it without really we started at the bottom now we at the top okay now let's play with 
We started at the bottom, now we at the top. I always had a fear of the fame is nonstop. And we do. Okay, so as you see, it got a little more quieter because it was more compressed, okay? So from there, you can copy these settings if you like. This is the multi band compressor. I don't want to move too fast. Um, but okay, so from there, we can take all of these off. Um, now we're going to add the third compressor. All right. Now, this is where the clarity is going to come from, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to boost on this H right here, and that's the highs, okay? So, in my case, on this, I did a 5.7 dB, and I did it at 68.85 hertz, all right? And that's why I, my uh, hertz, my frequency, to get my words right, that's where my frequency stands at. So, let's play it without we started at the bottom now we at the top i always had a fear of the fame is non-stop and we okay play it with we started at the bottom now we at the top i always had a fear of the fame is non-stop and we do okay and as you see it definitely sparkled a lot let's play it one more time and i'm gonna just kind of toggle it we started at the bottom now we at the top i always had a fear of the fame is non-stop and we do Okay, so I can definitely hear the difference in that. And that is just a basic mix where it's not too much going on um, when you destroy the vocal. Um, so yeah, and the vocal might sit a little different in the mix at the end, but we're gonna see. But as far as the vocal being treated, it sounds pretty good and it's pretty clear. I can hear the clarity in that. I'm liking how it feels. So yeah, so this is how you do bring clarity to your vocals, okay? So what we did is we cut, all right? We cut everything out first. We carved it out. We took all the bad out, all right? That's gonna help bring your vocal to life in the end, all right? So that's the first step, cut it out, all right? Then we gave it a little frequency compression where in certain frequencies we do certain compressions. You know, the rates are different, things are, so you, you want to do that so you can contain everything, all right? And after that, we did a high boost, and that brought us some clarity, okay? And for my auto-tune, I use the automatic pitch correction, all right? And you can go to my uh, late, my last what, two videos I did, and you can check out how to use the automatic pitch correction if you need to use that. And yeah, so that is how you bring more clarity to your vocals. So, all right, so if you like this video, hit that thumbs up for your boy, all right? Hit that notification bell for post notifications, all right? Um, I'll be back for more and more and more and more and more, all right? Thought it was a game? You are now rocking with Mr. Mixer already. We started at the bottom, now we at the top. I always had a fear of the fame is non-stop. And we do, and we do, and we grind non-stop. We started at the bottom, now we...